hospitals and quarantine centres and their sons and daughters can't go and see them to say goodbye. This is heartless. This is inhuman. And yet it's coming from a government that claims to care about us. They claim to be doing the lockdowns to keep us safe. Who can't see the contradiction here? What keeps us impervious to disease? Having uh, a good immune system that's properly fired up. What contributes to that? Access to sunlight, access to fresh air, uh, exercise, social contact yeah. is, is, is an important part of that, seeing your family and friends. And it's just not the same behind a bloody screen. This is more of the conditioning. All these stupid TV ads where you've got all these shiny, happy people and they're all holding up their tablets and their phones and hi, mom, and uh, hi, cousin, and all this. And they're cooking Sunday lunch together and sharing recipes together all through a screen. This is not the way we were supposed to live. Human beings need social contact. We are social beings. And they're trying to sell to us that because we could do all this stuff via Skype or Zoom or WhatsApp, it's just as good as being there. It's not. And another thing is all these ads that we have on our TV now, very professionally produced, aren't they? We're supposed to believe they've been turned around just in the last three or four weeks. They've got all those actors. They've done all the casting. They've written the scripts. They've got them into the studio. They've filmed it. They've edited it. They've added the graphics. They've mastered it. They've distributed it all in the course of these past few weeks. To me, it smacks of foreknowledge on the part of many, many organizations and institutions that this was coming. Those ads must have been produced weeks ago. Yeah. All these things like the One World concert, curated by Lady Gaga the other weekend, all those rock stars performing from their living rooms. That was supposedly turned around in, you know, three weeks or something. Doesn't seem very plausible to me. When you apply critical thought to it, and also all these shops, these supermarkets, they've all got their nice laminated signage. They've got their bits of tape and their arrows on the floor. They've got their staff wearing t-shirts saying, please, safe distance, two meters and all this. They've got the Perspex screens on the checkouts that fit just perfectly. Hmm, turned all that lot around very quick as well, didn't they? Or is it more likely that the CEOs of Tesco, Sainsbury's, all these other stores knew damn well that this was coming and they had an advance heads up. So they had plenty of time to get all their corporate policies in place because all these stores are acting in exactly the same way, aren't they? Everyone you go to has got a sign outside saying, we're taking COVID-19 really seriously. We want to keep you safe. Please follow the social distancing rules and keep two meters apart. They're all behaving in exactly the same way, the same way that governments did. You know, all the governments of the world, with only a few exceptions, a few rogue nations here and there, all went into the very same lockdown measures at the very same time. And we're supposed to believe that these are independent, autonomous governments making their own decisions. It's clear that the order was received from on high and it came down the chain of command to all these governments and they were required to take this action at the same time. And I've seen the same thing with all these corporate supermarket chains. Uh, it smacks of advanced knowledge. They knew it was coming. They had time to prepare for it. And I just don't buy that they've turned all this signage around and all this corporate policy just in the past few weeks. People might like to think about that one. We know that there are groups like the Bilderberg Group and uh, the Council on Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission. And then there's these more secretive social engineering think tanks and uh, mystery schools and secret societies. The movers and shakers of society, business leaders, politicians, banksters, uh, high profile uh, celebrities, all get together at these gatherings and they plan what is going to be rolled out in the future months and years. So it's pretty obvious to me that at many of these meetings in 2019 and evidently some years before that, all of this stuff was getting planned. They were talking about things like social distancing, self-isolation, all these buzzwords, lockdown. <laughs>